Okay, so I haven't made a video talking about this in a while. Um, but you know that my channel is constantly growing. It hasn't stopped growing since I started flipping tarot cards. So this is for the new faces. For those of you who don't really know all that much about me, I actually specialize primarily in something that has been seriously losing popularity over the past four to five years or so. And that would be manifestation. Now, it, it kind of disheartens me that it's starting to lose popularity, but I understand why. It makes perfect sense. Um, now, here's the thing. For those of you who actually become obsessed enough to understand what manifestation is, what it's really all about, and how it actually works, you'll understand why it's so important to learn in today's day and age. See, I stumbled upon it by accident. Um, I was living in a homeless shelter. Uh, I had just spent uh, the previous six months, the last half of 2015, literally living under a bridge. I lost everything and uh, ended up living up under a bridge with a couch cushion and a little moldy, torn up quilt you know, and that was my bed. And that's all I had to my name. And I lived that way for the last half of 2015. And then December 7th, 2015, I turned myself into a homeless shelter because I didn't want to keep living outside in the cold. In order to guarantee a bed at this homeless shelter, they also had a program that you had to enter into for addicts and alcoholics and it was called the Healing Place. And this was very much like recovery boot camp, you know? And from there, I uh, spent a couple of months there and then left there and turned myself into a little transitionary home because they would let you work and they would let you have a phone. So I acquired me a free government-issued Obama phone and I was sitting in McDonald's one day, bored on one of my days off work when I didn't have anything to do and I was using McDonald's Wi-Fi to sit and watch YouTube videos while I drink a mellow yellow. And that's where I found my first Law of Attraction video. I was researching near-death experiences because that, that was like my favorite thing to, to study and, and listen to and research. And I saw a video titled, I Saw the Law of Attraction in My NDE. And it was from a lady named Terry Rose. At the time, I had never heard of such a concept. Uh, so when I heard this lady break this down and explain this, and it wasn't anything special. It was just a little four or five minute video, just basically breaking down the fact that we are all born with this ability to be able to create any experience that we want. And it has to do with the way we perceive things, the way we feel our beliefs and whatnot, and I was absolutely addicted to it and obsessed with it because, come on now, I'm at the lowest point in my life. So I dug a really, really deep rabbit hole on that journey. I was absolutely obsessed with learning how to play with this and, and how it works. And I even ended up attending a mind mastery school that was actually founded and taught by a former NASA scientist. And that's where I learned the actual science behind how it works. Because I knew something was missing. You know, a couple of years in, by about <clears throat> 2017, so maybe a year, year and a half in, I had been playing with it and I had made some pretty cool things happen. Um, but nothing really big and extraordinary. Nothing huge. And I remember thinking, man, there's something missing here. And I remember the day that I said out loud, okay, universe, I know there's something missing here and I'm ready for you to show me what it is. I'm ready. And I said that out loud <clears throat> and kind of forgot about it, tucked it away. Maybe, maybe two days later, I'm scrolling Facebook 
and I scroll past a video and the title of the video says, former NASA scientist reveals the secrets of energy or so something to the effect of that. And um, I was like, oh, this is cool. And so I started listening to the things this dude is saying <clears throat> and I started digging in deeper <clears throat> and finding out that this person actually has a mind mastery school. And, uh, this was back in the day. Um, since everything that's been going on for the past few years, this person has disappeared off the internet and you can't even attend that school anymore. Like you have to join a wait list. It's been on a wait list for like the last three years, but I attended that school and I learned the very important little key elements that are left out of mainstream law of attraction teachings. And this individual, like I said, was a former NASA scientist and was connected to people who are very, very high up, very high up. People who sit in the highest positions in the world. <clears throat> and I remember that this person would tell us that learning these teachings and learning energy behavior and frequency equalization and attraction, vibration, and manifestation isn't about making money. It's not about attracting relationships and stuff like that. You can use it for that. That's just a bonus that comes along with it. He said, these teachings are designed to save your life. And, you know, at the time I'm thinking, whoa, that's a <laughs> big, bold statement, you know. He said, there is a plan in place to crash the world's economy, overthrow the United States, depopulate the planet, and turn this into a totalitarian one world government. And that plan, which is, it's going to be coming a lot sooner than you think. This plan, when, when they roll it out, there's going to be so much confusion and so much fear that if you're not a master of your own mind, you're fucked. And I'm like, whoa, what? What? what in the world? Like this kind of sounded <clears throat> like some bold, grandiose shit for somebody to say, you know, but I just kind of tucked it away. And all I wanted to do was figure out how to manifest money. I just wanted to manifest a career, a business. That was all I cared about. And, uh, it took me a little bit. It took me about almost a year and a half to two years. <clears throat> Before the doors finally opened, I manifested a bigger income than anything I ever dreamed of having. And, uh, you know, the, the one thing I set out to manifest, I finally, you know, made it happen. And I remember thinking, though, I was like, dude, it worked. Dude, it worked. You know, I've never made more than minimum wage my entire adult life. So to manifest an income like, like what I'm getting is huge. These fucking teachings worked. But then, then I would think, okay, well, if these teachings and whatnot are actually legit and this really works, then what about those other things this dude was saying? You know, what about this little plan? What, what, what's that all about? So for about a year, I'm kind of thinking, okay, well, whatever this thing is, this dude was talking about, like, you know, when's it coming? Like, what, 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 what's, what's up with all that? And I tried to just bury that away and tuck it away and, and, you know, forget about it. <clears throat> and then 2020 gets here and, uh, yeah. Now, now, now I'm starting to understand some of the things this dude was talking about. And now it makes perfect sense why it's so important to learn manifestation and how it works. Because the more you actually start seriously playing with it, 
which what, what it involves, if you really want to start playing with manifestation, manifestation isn't something that you start doing. It's something that you've been doing your whole life. You just don't realize it. What you're doing is you are unwiring your old program and rewiring a new program so that you can start manifesting different things. Okay. And what you'll start to notice when you start taking control of your own beliefs, you start taking control of your own perception, how you see things, how you feel about things. You start getting really, really, really sensitive and really picky about the things that you allow in here. You get real picky what you listen to. You start getting real picky about what you watch, you know, the, the people that you follow, the music that you listen to, because you're wanting to maintain a certain vibration and you're not going to just allow anything into these ears, especially something that puts you in fear or lowers your vibration, right? So imagine, imagine if when the law of attraction and, and manifestation first started popping off, when was that? about 2015, maybe somewhere in there when the movie, the secret came out and everybody started, you know, jumping on that wagon and, and wanting to learn it. Imagine that the people who were talking about it and teaching it were explaining it in such a way that people really understood how it actually works. People were actually manifesting amazing things in their life, which some people did, but most people did not. Most people did not because when it very first came out and started becoming popular, there were some very important key elements that were left out. There were some things that weren't explained exactly the way they should have been explained. And a lot of people jumped on that wagon and tried it and it didn't work. So they're like, ah, that's a bunch of bullshit. <clears throat> I've tried it. It doesn't work. Well, imagine that back when it first blew up, people did understand how it worked. And the overwhelming majority of the population was actually successfully manifesting their dreams and changing their life. And then 2020 rolled around. What would have happened? What would have happened? It wouldn't have worked, would it? Nobody would have fallen for the bullshit in 2020. Nobody would have gotten sucked into that. Nobody would have been swallowed up by fear. Most people would have just turned their TV off and said, I'm not listening to that shit. I'm not going to live in fear. I'm manifesting my fucking dreams, dude. I ain't got time to, to live in fear. Are you kidding me? And, and that whole game would have crumbled to the ground in less than three or four months. None of it would have worked. So do you understand where I'm going with this? <clears throat> you know that the games aren't done being played. You know that 2020 and 2021 were the first wall of the hurricane. 22 and 23, for the most part, we were pretty much in the eye of the hurricane. Now 24 and 25 are going to be the grand finale the final wall of the hurricane and you will seriously be tested seriously i mean here lately i've already been tested a couple of times the universe has put me in a few situations over the last few weeks that have really made me remember that i have to practice what i preach we're getting warmed up okay they're warming us up they're throwing little things at us to get us warmed up. And then right when you get comfortable and you least expect it, mm, we're going to get hit. We're going to get hit with, with some shit so crazy that it's going to shock everybody. Just like in 2020. Now, it's never been more important than it is in these times to take control of your own perception. For you to choose 
how you respond to and react to things emotionally. Because that's the most powerful force in this universe. The human emotion and belief system. And collectively, when you have six, seven, eight billion people all focused on the same thing, all focusing their energy, all feeling the same emotions and directing that energy toward the same thing, it has no choice but to manifest. And that's how this whole game was built. Well, we're here in these times to collapse the old game and let it crumble to the ground. That's going to happen one way or the other. <clears throat> we're moving into a new world one way or the other. Is the new world we're going to move into a good thing or a bad thing? <clears throat> well, that really depends on whether or not you are actually willing to take conscious control of how you see things and what you believe. Because if you allow your vibration to be controlled by outside sources, by people outside of you, situations outside of you, things that are outside of you that you have no control of, then the new world we move into is not going to be a world that you want to live in. But if you take your power back and you take control of your own frequency and you take control of your vibration. No, I'm not going to live in fear. I'm not going to, to live in anger, fear, you know, and all these low frequencies. And you keep yourself in a high vibration, a vibration of abundance, a, a vibration of happiness and love, and at, at least anything but a vibration of fear, then we're going to usher in a very bright new world. Does this make sense now as to why it's so important to learn how manifestation works? Again, I'll say it again. Manifestation isn't something you start doing one day. It's something you've been doing your whole life. You just haven't been manifesting the things that you want to manifest. You take control of your energy, take control of your frequency, and you start manifesting what you want, <clears throat> and we all do that collectively, this old game that we were born into and brought up in of psychological enslavement, which is what's created all the other forms of enslavement, the financial enslavement and, and everything else that we've lived in at all, we all do it to ourselves in our mind because we have been so programmed and indoctrinated into manifesting that for ourselves, that it goes back so many generations that for the majority of the people, it's written into their DNA. And it's very important now that we unwrite that and we reprogram a new paradigm in our subconscious mind and in our own vibration collectively. And that's how we're going to see the bright new world that we all want to see. All right. I know at least one person needed to hear that. And as long as one person takes one thing that they heard me say, and they use that to totally transform their life, my job is complete. All right, I'm out of here now, y'all. I wish you love, luck, light, and prosperity on your journey. Stay blessed.